Deuteronomy 7, 9 Know therefore that Yahweh your God himself is God, the faithful God, who keeps covenant and loving kindness to a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commandments. First Chronicles 16.34 Oh, give thanks to Yahweh, for he is good, for his loving kindness endures forever. Second Chronicles 6.14 And he said, Yahweh, the God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven or on earth. You who keep covenant and loving kindness with your servants, who walk before you with all their heart. Nehemiah 9.17 They weren't mindful of your wonders that you did among them, but hardened their neck and in the rebellion appointed a captain to return to their bondage. But you are a God ready to pardon, gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abundant in loving kindness, and didn't forsake them. Psalm 5, 11 through 12. But let all those who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them always shout for joy, because you defend them. Let them also who love your name be joyful in you, for you will bless the righteous. Yahweh, you will surround him with favor as with a shield. Psalm 31, 7 I will be glad and rejoice in your loving kindness. For you have seen my affliction. You have known my soul in adversities. Psalm 36, 5 through 7. Your loving kindness, Yahweh, is in the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Your righteousness is like the mountains of God. Your judgments are like a great deep. Yahweh, you preserve man and animal. How precious is your loving kindness, God. The children of men take refuge under the shadow of your wings. Psalm 63, 3 Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Psalm 86, 5 For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive, abundant in loving kindness to all those who call on you. Psalm 86, 15 But you, Lord, are a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and abundant in loving kindness and truth. Psalm 103, 8 Yahweh is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abundant in loving kindness. Psalm 103, 13. Like a father has compassion on his children, so Yahweh has compassion on those who fear him. Psalm 107, 8 through 9. Let them praise Yahweh for his loving kindness, for his wonderful deeds to the children of men, for he satisfies the longing soul. He fills the hungry soul with good. Psalm 136, 2-3 Give thanks to the God of gods, 
for his loving kindness endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of Lords, for his loving kindness endures forever. Psalm 147, 3 He heals the broken in heart and binds up their wounds. Proverbs 3, 11 through 12 My son, don't despise Yahweh's discipline, neither be weary of his correction. For whom Yahweh loves, he corrects, even as a father reproves the son in whom he delights. Proverbs 8, 17 I love those who love me. Those who seek me diligently will find me. Isaiah 41, 10 Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 43, 1 through 5 But now Yahweh who created you, Jacob, and who formed you, Israel, says, Don't be afraid, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they will not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned, and flame will not scorch you. For I am Yahweh your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I have given Egypt as your ransom. Ethiopia and Seba in your place. Since you have been precious and honored in my sight, and I have loved you, therefore I will give people in your place and nations instead of your life. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east and gather you from the west. Isaiah 49, 16 Behold, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. Isaiah 53, 5 But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought our peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Isaiah 54, 10 For the mountains may depart, and the hills be removed, but my loving kindness will not depart from you. And my covenant of peace will not be removed, says Yahweh, who has mercy on you. Jeremiah 29, 11 For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says Yahweh, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 31, 3 Yahweh appeared of old to me, saying, Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have drawn you with loving kindness. Lamentations 3, 22-23 it is because of Yahweh's loving kindnesses that we are not consumed. 
because his compassion doesn't fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Micah 7, 18 Who is a God like you, who pardons iniquity and passes over the disobedience of the remnant of his heritage? He doesn't retain his anger forever because he delights in loving kindness. Zephaniah 3, 17 Yahweh your God is among you, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will calm you in his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Luke 6, 35 But love your enemies and do good and lend, expecting nothing back and your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, for he is kind toward the unthankful and evil. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. John 8, 12 Again, therefore, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. John 10, 10 through 11. The thief only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I came that they may have life and may have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. John 13, 3 through 5. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he came from God and was going to God, arose from supper and laid aside his outer garments. He took a towel and wrapped a towel around his waist. Then he poured water into the basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was wrapped around him. John 13, 34 A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, just as I have loved you, you also love one another. John 14, 21 One who has my commandments and keeps them, that person is one who loves me. One who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. John 15, 9 through 17 even as the Father has loved me, I also have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have spoken these things to you, that my joy may remain in you and that your joy may be made full. This is my commandment, that you love one another, even as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends 
if you do whatever I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant doesn't know what his Lord does. But I have called you friends, for everything that I heard from my Father, I have made known to you. You didn't choose me, but I chose you and appointed you, that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should remain, and that whatever you will ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. I command these things to you, that you may love one another. John 16, 27 For the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me, and have believed that I came from God. Romans 5, 5 And hope doesn't disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Romans 5, 8 but God commends his own love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 8, 28 And we know that all things work together for good for those who love God, for those who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 31 through 32. What then shall we say about these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who didn't spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how would he not also with him freely give us all these things? Romans 8:35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Could oppression or anguish or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Romans 8, 37 through 39. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from God's love, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. First Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Love is patient and is kind. Love doesn't envy, love doesn't brag, is not proud, doesn't behave itself inappropriately, doesn't seek its own way, is not provoked, takes no account of evil, doesn't rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will be done away with. Where there are various languages, they will cease. Where there is knowledge, it will be done away with. Second Corinthians five fourteen through fifteen For the love of Christ constrains us, because we judge thus that one died for all, therefore all died. He died for all, that those who live should no longer live to themselves, but to him who for their sakes died and rose again. Galatians 2.20 
I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. That life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself up for me. Ephesians 2, 4 through 5. But God, being rich in mercy, for his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. Ephesians 3, 17 through 19. That Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, to the end that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be strengthened to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and height and depth, and to know Christ's love which surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Ephesians 5, 2 Walk in love, even as Christ also loved us, and gave himself up for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God, for a sweet-smelling fragrance. First Peter 5, 6-7 Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your worries on him, because he cares for you. First John 4, 9-12 By this God's love was revealed in us, that God has sent his one and only Son into the world, that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, if God loved us in this way, we also ought to love one another. No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God remains in us, and his love has been perfected in us. First John 4.16 We know and have believed the love which God has for us. God is love. And he who remains in love remains in God, and God remains in him. First John 4, 18 through 19. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear has punishment. He who fears is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us.